hello you guys welcome back to my channel today it is going to be episode one of wedding planning i cannot believe we're officially planning the wedding now we kind of the first year didn't do much planning we did an engagement session chris also gave me another ring so that was amazing unfortunately i didn't vlog it he didn't think about vlogging it or anything so yeah i wanted to say real quick shameless self plug if you aren't following me on tiktok yet you should probably follow me because i am super active there i feel like people are not that active on youtube anymore but i still wanted to film this for the youtube channel and share it with those of you guys who still watch youtube this is the plan i want to make one of those like boards with the sticky notes i'm pretty sure you guys have probably seen it on tiktok it's been pretty like popular for people that are uh wedding planning but i wanted to put my own spin to it i feel like i'm always so extra so i'm going the extra mile and making my kind of planning board a little more bougie if you if you could say and so i want to bring you guys along so this is what we have to make the board i have these transparent um like posted notes i also have some sharpies i ended up getting these at target for like 10 bucks i believe which is a steal and right now i think it's a good time to get it because it's like back to school stuff are already at target i also got these extra black sharpies because there's only one black sharpie marker here and i know for sure that's probably a marker i'm going to use a lot so i got extras of those this is the board we ended up getting so we actually picked up an acrylic sheet this is um these are the measurements so if you guys are interested just pause the video and like screenshot or take down all of the details we got this one at home depot but i'm pretty sure you can probably find it at lowe's and this we also got a rolling um like rolling pin or whatever this is called i got a sanding brick but i don't think i'm gonna sand just because i feel like there would be scratches on the side where i put the paint so i'm not gonna use that this is the paint i ended up getting it is the bare marshmallow whip and i'm gonna zoom in so you guys can have that for future references we got the sample um size because we don't need a lot obviously so i think that should be enough i also got some cricut vinyl which i'm gonna put up here um it's just gonna be saying future mr and mrs del cruz or something like that i don't know what i'm gonna put yet and then this to just pour in the paint and be able to roll it packaging first thing we're gonna do is remove this plastic cover Okay, so the first coat is done so far. It's a little bit blotchy, but that's fine. I'm just gonna let that dry and then maybe in 30 minutes, we will put another coat. And we're just gonna keep doing it until the coat is good enough. So far, I've given the board like two coats, three coats of paint. And I went onto Canva and decided to put Della Cruz in. This is actually was a decision made by chris but i was gonna put the Dela cruces on the board but it felt super long and also i don't like the way cruces sounds so chris just thought about putting Dela cruising you know like cruising um which is actually part of our wedding hashtag so i think that's really nice that he chose that and then um we are gonna put established 2023 and malibu california because that's where our wedding is going to be and i want to show you guys the fonts so for this one we're using um the tan ashford font for the established and the malibu we're actually using the tan angleton 
And then for the Della Cruising, we're using the Tan Ashford. If you guys were like curious, those are the fonts we're using. So I ended up making a canvas size that is the same measurements as my board. And then I ended up cutting the established in 2023 and putting it right under the other because this is where all the sticky notes are gonna go on the board. We already have the De La Cruising and then Malibu, California. I'm going to go ahead and click make it and go ahead and make it. I am using the 12 by 24 board. I don't know if um, you guys have that one, but it's just the longer mat. It's not the shorter one, but that's basically what I'm going to be doing. And then these, I'm just going to move it and arrange it so it doesn't like slice into each other. And then this one should be good. It's barely right there. So I'm going to have this much paper left, which is fine. Okay. So I am going to be using the, like I said, the 24 inch mat. This one is the standard grip. It's the one I would recommend, especially when you're working with vinyl or like iron on um, transfer. So it's just a recommendation. And then this is the paper that I'm using. It's just adhesive, adhesive foil or vinyl, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so this is my Cricut machine. I have the Cricut Maker Explorer 2, I believe. So really quick, I want to give you a look at what i'm putting on the settings i'm putting it on vinyl i'm just gonna put it right here in the middle okay and then i just have everything placed in so i am really excited excited about how this is coming along i don't know if you guys can see the letters it's just very bright with the light but i'm gonna be using these two tools to just remove the letters from the well i'm not gonna remove the letters i'm just gonna remove around the letters but before i do that i actually have to take this off of the mat So I'm actually going to cut out all of the phrases individually first because I don't want to waste all of this paper. So this is how I'm cutting them. This one says established 2023. You can't really see it. And then this one says Malibu, California. You guide yourself with the little lines in the back. So here... So I have a little problem. I don't have regular transfer paper, or I mean transfer tape. Sorry. So I'm going to be using some some like masking tape. Editing Humana here. So do not use regular clear tape. I've used masking tape before or like painter's tape and that worked really great but the problem with that is that you can't really see where you're placing your um your vinyl so definitely invest in some transfer tape either by Cricut or another brand um so yeah don't do what I did because it left a lot of residue and it was really hard to take off I had to have my dad help me take it off I, I couldn't even take it off so invest in some good transfer tape so what I'm just gonna do is put it over the words. I'm just gonna get this tool and kind of just make sure it's 
sticks to the masking tape. This one is going to be a little challenging, but let's do it. And we're going to do one more. So I put about three to four coats of paint on the board, and I think that's pretty good. Uh, now I'm just going to flip it to the other side. And this is the other side is where we're actually gonna put the um, the letters because this is the shiny side. So. This is what it looks like. I think it looks amazing. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is shiny because we only painted the back side, and we're not going to put everything on the back side. We're gonna put it on this shiny surface also it's now dark outside so i'm very sorry for the lighting but tomorrow i'm actually going to start doing the sticky notes and show you guys what it looks like for the meantime i'm gonna just put on the letters okay so i'm gonna use a chalk marker which should come off it shouldn't stay here so yeah that wipes off because i don't Another marker. I'm just gonna measure where the half is, which is 16. And then the other half right there. And then I'm just gonna get the other half over here. So that's the half. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you guys can. Start to slowly press it down. Yep, all sides hold there too. As I'm pulling, I'm holding onto the letter at the bottom so it doesn't actually pull it with the tape. I have not touched the board or done literally anything different to it besides like cleaning it because it does get pretty dusty in this room so I want to show you guys look at how good it looks I absolutely love it like I said I want to reuse this in the future for something I don't know what I'm gonna reuse it with um, or what I'm gonna do with it in the future but like I said, I ended up changing the wording here. So instead of putting future Mr. and Mrs., I just put Della Cruising. Like I said, part of our hashtag, it has the established 20 in 2023 right there. And then also Malibu, California. If you're thinking of redoing or recreating this DIY, definitely be careful and do not paint both sides. Only paint one side of the acrylic. The other one, remove the um, plastic cover because most of these have a plastic cover on it. And then you can just go ahead and put it on like that. So it's not a pure white. I feel like it's more creamy and you can't really see that through the camera. So yeah, another thing I would recommend is have even coats because you will be able to tell um, on this side, like if you put it towards the light, I don't think... You can tell on mine because we did pretty good with the coating, but it looks good. We're going to go ahead and start the board. So at first, I was going to use clear sticky notes. As you can tell, I started putting them up on the board, but I very quickly realized that I did not like how they looked. Second, the colorful Sharpies did not work on the clear sticky notes, only the black ones and the gold one did so i ended up taking it off and i went to target and purchased colorful sticky notes 
which was actually a lot better because it helped me kind of group stuff together which i wasn't going to be able to do with the clear sticky notes so there's actually been a little change of plans i ended up not liking how the white transparent sticky notes looked like so i took a tr quick trip to target and ended up purchasing just regular colored sticky notes i try to keep it at like a like one color scheme and i ended up really liking these pink with orange ones if you couldn't tell i really love that combinate color combination as well as purple but couldn't find any in this size and then i also went ahead and purchased these long um sticky notes which you can stick vertically which is kind of the size i wanted for the other sticky notes but um it just didn't work out so now we have these and i have to go ahead and make them all over again because i had pre-made some last night and then you know i was just gonna make some right now for the video but clearly now i have to do this all over again so that's what we're gonna do guys it is now 8 30 p.m and i have officially finished the wedding board to do checklist and it looks pretty good chris is telling me it looks like a table of periodic elements like the one you see in chemistry but this is what it looks like it's already dark but i feel like in the morning or day it looks better okay i cannot remember if i told you guys how i was kind of organizing this but basically this is what i put first top priority and then i kind of move on like depending on the priority of what i need to do so of course i have all of these priorities i do have some vendors that i need to book here which are top priority which is why they're in this section here are just the rest of the vendors i need to book up to here then i have apparel even for my fiance for our bridal party for just our wedding party in general stationery like invites websites signage you know all that stuff and then i also have ceremony these are more kind of like things i need to get done or that i need to kind of know how i'm gonna do it like the chairs and tables aisle decor all that stuff the reception you know just typical reception stuff then i have flowers right here up to here and then i also have after the wedding which is right here gifts and favors for like thank you gifts vendor tips gifts for my parents bridal party also for my fiance my fiance also has one here for me the gifts we're gonna exchange and then I also have the honeymoon, you know, round trip flights, hotel, bridal outfits, lingerie, vlog camera, food fund, emergency kit. Um, I do want to do a honeymoon photo shoot, so we will be booking that. And then I have this one for appointments, but I have not yet made any appointments, so there isn't any here, I'm pretty sure. Once I start like booking off the vendors, um, the appointments, there will be a space for that, but as of now... There's no space for that yet. Of course, I forgot to end this video. 
So here's editing Kimana to let you know that if you ta- if you do this DIY, if you recreate it, please tag me whether on Instagram, TikTok, and with TikTok, don't forget to follow me on there because I'm super active there. Um, this is one of the reasons I created this video because my um, TikTok video on this board actually went viral. So don't forget to follow me on there and let me know what else you guys want to see in this wedding planning series. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!